Hey guys, Nick here. This is uh, part three of a three-part series on using the left, right, and the mid functions from Excel in Nime. Um, our goal was to take the store code and break it apart by the store state, the ownership type, and now this video we're going to pull out the middle of the store code, which is the four-digit store number. So I'll keep this video short since I've been pretty verbose in the last two. I'm trying to respect your time, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to keep using the trim manipulation node, and now we're going to run a combination of what we previously ran in the other two uh, videos. So we're going to append a column called store number, and the way we're going to set this up is we're going to take the substring function and we'll feed in our parameters, right? So the substring we're going to run with takes a string, takes a starting index, and then takes the length of how much you want to pull out from that index forward or to the right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to feed in the store code as the string we're, we're pulling from. And then for the start parameter, we're going to say start at, at index 2, because if you go back, if you go back to um, our Excel sheet, the NIME index right starts at 0. So technically, we don't want these first two characters that are the state code. We want to start at index 2. And remember, the NIME index starts at 0. So technically, 2 would translate to an index 3 in Excel. But we went through this in video 1, so we're aware of this. So we're starting at position 2, or index 2. And then, the next step in the logic is to say, from index 2, let's find the length of the entire of the entire string and we know the length of the string is uniformly eight characters long right based off of this um, logic we went through in video one so now that we've got now that we've got the length of of the of the entire string what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to once we're starting at index two we want to pull four characters right so we're saying the length of it minus four because we know the length is eight and we're gonna take the length of eight minus four that'll give us our four characters All right? and that should give us this math works out to four I'm sorry so that should give us the four digit store number code right so if we run this execute let's look at the output so now we've got the store code over here and then we have this new column we appended store number and then if we audit this the store code says store number is 1156 which matches our new output 2982 matches over here 4565 looks like it matches so everything looks like it's working here so that's effectively how we ran the mid function um, I know I did make this a bit complex in that I used the length minus 4 for the, the last argument for the length. It could be as easy as just putting in a hard-coded 4 there, right? So we could say, just give me the, the substring of the store code, start at index 2, and then from index 2 give me 4 characters. We don't need the, the complex calculation there, right? actually let me remove this so we'll hit apply hit OK it's a little finicky you guys saw that how I had the comment up top but it, it was giving me issues it gave me an error code with the comment up there little things like that that see it's giving me an error there's little things like that that you learn over time it's as simple as like it doesn't like a comment in the in the lines right Anyways, we'll hit execute. Well, let's look at the results. So we've got our store number, we've got our store code, and again, we can uh, audit. This should be 3391, which matches 3391. 2589, looks like it matches. So that, folks, is how you use the mid function. And we went through two different iterations of it, right? We went with the hard coded length or a variable length, which is based off of the, the length of the actual string. Anyways, let me uh, let me cut it there. Don't want to waste your guys' time. 
let me know what you guys think if there's uh if you have any questions anything you're unclear on just drop it in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can if not like always share this with your friends guys hit the like button don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to keep putting out content i'm trying to keep it consistent to every uh monday and thursday uploading a new video um so yeah hit the subscribe button and you'll stay up to date if not i'll catch you guys on the next video